This is the second video on using Excel to make transparencies to study the sieve of Eratosthenes. In this video, we're going to look at how to color in the squares automatically so we don't have to just select all the cells and paint them. And this um, technique can be used to print out transparencies like the ones we looked at in the last video. Or we can also put them together to do the whole sieve of Eratosthenes on the screen. So let's look at what we've got here. I'm going to do this with a bigger number table than we used before. Uh, what I can comfortably fit on the screen up to 165. So the first thing we're going to do is shade in multiples of two in yellow. So I select the entire table here. And then I'm going to go to the format menu, choose conditional formatting might be lower on your menu than on mine. And then I have two choices here. I have the cell value or the formula is and choose the formula. And we make a formula here a lot like we've been making formulas all along. So start with the equal sign and we'll do this in this formula in terms of cell A1 as a relative reference and Excel will translate that to the whole table. So we're going to say mod cell A1 comma 2 is equal to 0. That's a, just another way of saying that A1 is even. Okay and then we go to the format button and see at the top of the format button we have a choice about font, borders, patterns. So we're going to pick patterns and choose yellow. That'll fill in the cell yellow. And hit OK. And now we filled in all of the even cells in yellow. Now for the sieve of Eratosthenes, since 2 is prime, we actually don't want that cell to be yellow. So I'm going to modify the formula a little bit here. So go back to conditional formatting. And here's our formula. And I'm going to use the logical operator AND. We can use AND or OR to have more than one condition. So I'm putting this around the outside. So AND, this is our A1 is even condition. And then what I'm going to also add in is that A1 is greater than two just so we take out that one case so we have another parenthesis so and here's the formula okay and you see now two is not shaded in so we could we can actually delete the one if we want to do that to not deal with one when we're talking we're looking at the table now you could just print this out this way. You might want to take away the numbers and you can do that in a similar manner but instead of looking at the patterns like we did before, look at the text. And so what you would want to do to do that, I'm not going to illustrate it, but you would want to change the text of the even numbered cells to be yellow and you can change the text of the the cells that are supposed to be white to be white and then you won't be able to see it. Okay, but as I said, I don't want to do that for now. Okay, so I'm going to put the one back for a second just so it doesn't, it doesn't, Excel doesn't take it to be a zero and color it a way we didn't want it to. So now I'm going past the actual transparencies and we're going to do the sieve of Eratosthenes on the screen. And basically we just add more conditions like this. So I'll go to the the format menu and we can add another condition, another formula and so this time actually I'm going to I'm going to just copy this control C and paste it control V and then we'll modify it. Now I want to do mod 3, so I just change the 2's to a 3. 
and I will pick a different color. We'll pick this. I uh, can't remember what I used last time, but pick this pink kind of color for the mod threes. And so we have the multiples of three filled in. And let's do that again. Add one more formula. Same thing. I'll paste. And this time I'm going to change to five. And blue. Okay. So we've done the multiples of 2, 3, and 5. Now they don't overlap like, like I did in the other video when I was trying to simulate the transparencies on the overhead. And we can continue, except that we have a little problem, and that is that Excel only lets you do three conditions in the conditional formatting. There's no more Add button here. That's highlighted over. So what we can do for that is um, we're going to have to reuse the colors, basically. And so what I'm going to do is now I am up to, I need to add seven. So I'm going to put this whole formula I have up here, I'm going to put an OR function around it. And we'll do a comma and do my control V, get everything up. So we're getting a kind of complicated function here, but it's built in steps. And now I need to do mod 7. So mod 7 is going to also come up yellow. And just hit OK. And I made a mistake because I forgot the last parenthesis on here. Hopefully that'll fix it. Um, no, actually my mistake is that I have an extra equal sign in here. But I did forget the parenthesis too. Okay, so that's better. And those kind of things come up all the time in doing Excel and complicated formulas. But you can see that I have some multiples of 7, 21, 35, 49. They're shaded in yellow now, so that worked pretty well. Now this table goes up to 165, and 13 squared would be 169. So I actually only no need to go up to 11. Okay, and actually it might have been nice if I would have uh, not reused yellow because there's so much yellow, but that's all right, I did that. Okay, so I'm actually now going to just, since I had trouble before, I'm going to paste this whole formula from above and change it so that I want it to be threes and elevens are going to be pink. Show you that with the magnifying glass. A little extra coordination here. This magnifying glass is a utility program. It's free. It's called magnifying glass. It's very helpful. Except I think I'm out of the border of the video now. So there we go. Hopefully that will do it for us. And there we go. Let's now now that we've we can get rid of the one. And we have a full sieve of Eratosthenes up to 165 now. Everything that's in white is prime. We can also look for some other patterns. I think I see a very long list of composite numbers in a row here. We can see some of the twin primes that are two apart, etc., etc. So that's a lot of machinery and not probably exactly what Excel was designed for, but here's how you can do Civ of Eratosthenes automatically on Excel.